Okay, welcome back to Ron's Garage. Uh, it's uh, Monday afternoon, it's a rainy, dreary day, and uh, just thought I'd come over and knock out a little something. Uh, my son, Joshua's here, uh, helping me. Say hi, Josh. Howdy. And, uh, well, that's what we did. We mounted the speedometer in the center of the dash, uh, which wouldn't be that big a deal, but... Uh, you know, finding a three and three eighths hole saw was next to impossible. Uh, so I used uh, one of those expandable hole saw things like that uh, for a little while and then finished the rest of it off with a jigsaw. But here's the fun fact. Uh, look at that. That is all fiberglass. Somebody had something mounted in that dashboard and then had to fill it back up again. I haven't peeked back in there to see the extent of how far that is yet, but just look at that thing. That is a, it's a half an inch thick. Oh. So that's interesting. So, but we got it in. Now I've got a big old fiberglass mess to clean up uh, or body filler. That, no, that's. That's body filler. That's not fiberglass. So anyway, got that mess to clean up, get the tape off, and then that job is uh, mounted anyway. And then there's the other gauges. You guys have seen those. Those are not bolted in yet either. Uh, I'll put screws on the corners to hold that in. Uh, but I'm not going to do that until I get the wiring done. So all the gauges are in. Got all those, tack, speedo, over there's the hole for the uh, ignition switch. Uh, I got three pieces of uh, 12 by 24, uh, 16 inch thick uh, plastic Bakelite. Uh, I'll make a backer for the fuse box and that'll go down in the kick panel somewhere. Uh, or maybe behind the, behind the glove box, I don't know. I don't know yet, I'll figure that out. Uh, so uh, yeah. That's where we are. So, but like I said, I just wanted to get something done today and we did, oh, see those boxes? Well, one of them, the one behind there is the uh, bake light and the front one there is my windshield. So that came in today. Uh, the weather stripping that goes around here is on order. Uh, it's a one piece thing with the center, center strip. Uh, I've got to get, these screws these screws out uh, so I can get the center section of the rubber out of there they just cut that out uh, then I can put the uh, windshield in uh, I'm sure Josh will come back over and help me again do that um, so then that part will be done uh, making progress slowly but surely that was a surprise I did not expect that we were so, more expecting to cut into metal, weren't we? Yes, yes, we were. We were expecting to cut into metal. Well, it's, you know, granted, I did not look behind the dashboard to see, because I assumed it was metal. Uh, I don't know, Josh, can you see back in there? Yeah, let me, let me take a good look. You might have, we might have to do it from underneath. Careful, you don't want to get all that body filler on you. Yeah. Huh. Does it go all the way across? Yes, and no, yeah, and just no, and just a few inch, no, just a few inches out the other side as well. Huh. Well, it's not bothering me. Maybe they had to do that to paint the the front of the uh, shine light up on here, will you? Paint uh, the dash and all the trim this funky metal flake stuff, which uh, I don't like. My wife likes it. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep it or not. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, I don't know, maybe once it's washed and cleaned up and out in the sunlight, it'll look okay. But, you know, even the trim around the doors and all the back windows is all the same. Uh, I may leave it. I know I may not. I may paint it all black. Who knows? I don't. So anyway, that's it. Uh, got some cleanup to do, which I'm probably not going to do tonight. Uh, and then uh, and I think it's about time to start wiring. So, all right. Thanks for watching.
and I'll see you next time. Bye.